What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be explaining what is the ego and how does it function? So before I start this video, I'm going to have to say that this is an advanced topic. I always say this at the beginning of my, uh, I always say this at the beginning of my videos. Because I like to talk about advanced things. <laughs> so when we say what is the ego, we are simultaneously asking what is reality? What am I and really what is the truth of existence? And this is obviously a very complex question. So there's going to be a lot that you can possibly misunderstand in this video. But I'm going to be explaining it pretty simply and very straightforward, no bullshit, straight to the point. So it's going to be hard to misunderstand the communication that I'm trying to <laughs> give out. So what is the ego? The ego is the person I'm pointing to right now. It's that thing right there. Who am I pointing to? You say me. You say you're pointing at me. That right there is the ego. So the ego is any possible thing that you are identified with. Now that is huge. And I will be explaining that as the video goes along, but I have to build up to the climax point. So I can't just spew it all out immediately. So the ego is any possible thing that you believe you are. This body, this mind, a human being, a mom, a dad, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, any role, any identity whatsoever. That is the ego. So the point of the ego is strictly to keep you alive. The reason why you identify with being any particular way is to keep you alive. It's the mind trying to keep itself alive, really. So, if you want to understand a lot more about that, watch my previous video, What It Means to Be Human, The Metaphysical Implications of Being Human, Part 1. It's a very good video. So, to sum a bit of that up, a, lot of, a bit of that video up, in order to survive as something, you have to be one way and not the other. So what this means is, let's say you think you're an athlete. In order to be an athlete, you have to be athletic and strong and good at sports. You can't be president of the United States instead. See, you can't be fat, eating McDonald's and drinking beer on the couch if you're an athlete. See, you have this whole web of belief about like this is me and this is my life this is what i like to do and in order to survive you need to maintain this in order to survive as an athlete you have to maintain this mental this whole mindset and your physique and you have to play sports and be really good at them in order for that to survive you must identify with all of that in order for your mind, the way it is exactly right now, to survive and not need to change whatsoever, you need to be identified with that, that way of being. Now, that's just an example. So, in order, let's say you stop identifying with that. That actually means the death of you, of your identity, of what you believe yourself to be. See, in order to stop being an athlete, you have to actually kill the part of you that believes it is an athlete and has this whole mental framework of I am an athlete and this is what I'm attached to. See, you, you have a whole lifestyle and a way of thinking that you're attached to and that 
and that has to be wiped clean, that has to die. So the ego comes in to identify with this and perpetuate itself to make sure that this doesn't die. Now that's just a, a bit of an example. Now it goes even further. You can say even being a human being. See, when you believe you're a human being in general, now you have to live because you don't want to die. You're identified with being a human being. You currently believe yourself to be a human being with a life story and a body and a mind. You believe this is just what you are. So when we define ourselves, we have now created a separation between us and other. What we believe we are and what we believe we are not. So we define ourselves in a certain way. I'm a human being. Now we say, I'm not a chair, I'm not a tree, I'm not the video I'm watching, I'm this right here. This is me and that's not me. So this separation doesn't actually exist. This split between self and other, this is an illusion. There's no actual separation between you and the rest of reality. Between, See, there's no actual... There's nothing separating you from your surroundings. You're actually one with your surroundings, but because your mind is so locked in to this way of thinking, this way of thinking, I am an individual, I am separate, I am a human being, see, everything appears separate now. See, now you're, you're stuck in an illusion. So a core function of the ego is to maintain itself. So the ego needs to stay alive at all costs. So when I say that you are an illusion, that your actual existence as a human being is a fucking fantasy, that can be very threatening because you don't know what to make of that. What does this guy mean? I'm right here. Is this guy stupid? Look, I'm right here. I'm right here. Look, this isn't an illusion. I'm here and I'm not all that stuff out there. But once again, in order for you to say, I'm right here, you're identifying with something you're not. You're not your thoughts. You're not... See, anything that your mind comes up with isn't you. It's always a thought. See, even the thought, I am the body, is a, is a thought. That's not you. It's mental constructs. See, your mind is constructing an identity and then believing itself to be that identity confusing itself with its own thoughts. You are literally wrapped up in your own mind, completely lost in it. See, that can be very threatening to someone who has never heard of consciousness or ego. They're, they're not familiar with this. They're, they, they're, they're just unaware of this. So the ego doesn't actually exist. The ego is a thought. It's imagination. It's an imaginary construct that you've made. See, your whole ident identity is an imaginary construct. I am a body. I am a mom. I am a dad. These are all thoughts. I am this way and I'm not that way. I'm white and I'm not black. I'm tall and I'm not short. These are all thoughts. They're not you. These are all, this is your mind creating a story about what it believes itself to be. But it's just a mentally constructed story. So, the ego being an illusion, and its main goal is to keep you alive and survive, this means that its real goal is to perpetuate itself and maintain the illusion of being a separate individual, of saying, but I am an athlete, but I am a human being. That's just what I am. You can't question that. This is just what reality is, bro. This is just what it is. I'm just a human. That's ridiculous you're saying I'm not a human. And I'll flash an Einstein quote right now. <laughs> I love this quote. Uh, I guess take a second to read it. I, I don't know it off by heart, but I know it's I know the exact quote. It's uh it's gonna nail it perfectly.
So because the ego or separate self, this separate you, this, this you that you think is separate from the world, the you that you think is separate from this pen that isn't one with the pen and all of its surroundings, that doesn't exist. The ego, the identity, the separate self, these are all synonymous, that doesn't exist. So because it doesn't exist, it is living inside a dream, an illusion. It's not the actual real reality, so to speak. It's not, it's trapped in, it's just trapped in, a, in an illusion. That, that's the simplest way I can put it. So because it wants to perpetuate itself and maintain itself, and because it's an illusion, now it has to maintain an illusion, this means that it has to distort reality. It has to distort all aspects of it in order to maintain its survival. It has to distort relationships, how to make money, how to live a happy life. It has to distort the whole thing because the truth of your existence is based upon a lie. It's based upon a lie of separation. So with the ego, black becomes white and white becomes black. Everything gets flipped on its head. Everything, it's a complete 180. The truth becomes lies and the lies becomes truth. So when I say your, your separate individual sense of self is an illusion, See, that seems like madness to you. That can seem like absolute insanity. What I'm saying is completely nuts. But what I'm saying is true. And you don't have to believe me. You can discover it for yourself through raising your consciousness. And I've had a lot of other videos in the past about that. I'm not going to get into that here. But... In order for the illusion of the ego to exist, it must never discover that it is an illusion. Because if the ego finds out that it's an illusion, that means it's, it's the death of the ego. It has to change. And it doesn't want that. It wants to maintain being alive in a certain way. This way and not that way. So all this means that your existence as a separate individual is a total illusion. This sense of separateness that you have from the rest of reality is just an illusion. This boundary that you make between me and not me is just an idea in your mind. Your mind constructs me and not me. So the ego is always identified with being something and not another thing. So I'm white and I'm not black and vice versa. It always needs to believe itself to be some way. So notice any emotional reactions that you possibly have to what I'm saying. Because when we emotionally react, it's easy to fall into the ego's traps of closed-mindedness and judgment, anger, etc. So, noticing any emotional reaction or outburst, immediate outburst, robotic outburst to what I'm saying is... See, you're going to have to notice that if you're going to want to understand what I'm saying and understand it clearly. If you're really going to want to understand it, you have to, you got to chill out. You got to just kind of contemplate it and let it sink in a little bit. And I'm not saying to believe me once again, this can all be proven to be true by you in your own direct experience if you choose to. And I'm going to have a lot more videos about this in the future. I'm making one right now and I have a bunch in the past that I've made in the past. So you can watch those. So, your life is an illusion. I hope you get that by now. It's the point of this video. It's what the ego is. It's an illusion. It doesn't exist. And its function is to perpetuate itself, which is illusion. It's an illusion and it's perpetuating illusion. It's keeping you locked in delusion and suffering, ultimately. I'm not going to get into the suffering part just yet. Probably not even in this video. 
I might touch upon it, <laughs> no promises. But see, you may say, even after all of this, look, I'm here. There's no illusion. I'm here. Look, this is me. But these are thoughts, once again. Your mind is constructing a you, a sense of me and not me. This is completely constructed by your mind. And because when I say one with everything, see, if you never actually experienced an enlightenment experience or an awakening experience, so you have no reference to what I'm saying or what I'm trying to point you towards. See, this isn't an, an idea that I'm trying to really present to you. Technically it is, but I am trying to get you to go beyond ideas and beyond mind and into the present moment, into experiencing the present moment exactly the way it is without any distortion, with full fucking clarity. So everything that you believe to be you isn't you, a body and a mind. You're not an eyeball, a nose, hair, you're not your hair. If you try and pinpoint exactly what you are, you won't find it. And this is called no self. This is a Buddhist term and science is even catching up to this now. Buddhism has been on to that for thousands of years and science is just now catching up because we're learning a lot about neuroscience. We're just beginning to understand how the brain even functions. We know next to nothing about the fucking brain. We don't know anything. They don't even know how consciousness works. They don't have any clue at all. So it turns out that even science has proved that the sense of you is just feelings, thoughts, and sensations that you are identified with. It's, it's an illusion. There's no actual you. This has been proved by science if you're a scientifically minded person. So you can look into that. The Neuroscience of No Self. I'm sure there's a lot of books and I've read a couple, but I'm sure there's so, so many. You can probably find YouTube videos about it. So, I'm going to tell you what you actually are now. See, if you're telling me that I'm not this body and I'm not this mind, then what the hell am I? So, I'm going to tell you what that is. Now, also, when I tell you what that is, it's not going to be what you are. It's going to be an idea. You're going to have a, a, a concept of it. It's not going to be the actual thing. You're going to just intellectually understand it. Maybe. You might misunderstand it. I don't know. So, really, I'm trying to get you to go beyond concept and mind and to a direct experience of it, which is something you'll probably have to look into. And, you know, really desire. You're going to want to experience it. It's not going to happen sitting on your ass watching YouTube or something. You're really going to have to want it. You're going to have to actually really do it. You're going to have to put in some fucking work, man. You're going to have to do some meditation, self inquiry You have to do all types of techniques. For long amounts of time. And the payoff is worth it, by the way. <laughs> so... What I'm pointing to is a direct realization you can have. So, I'm going to ask you to be open-minded and just watch any emotional outbursts that you could possibly have. <laughs> so, what you are is pure infinite consciousness. Pure infinite awareness which is what all of reality is made out of. All of reality is made out of pure, unlimited, infinite consciousness with no real substance to it. It's, it itself isn't actually made of anything. It's made out of itself, which just seems paradoxical. It makes no sense. I get it. It's a mind, it's a mind twister. I'm not really going to get too much into that here, but you are pure consciousness, which is the substance of all of reality. It's one with everything. So every single thing is this one consciousness. 
It's consciousness appearing as a multiplicity of things. Consciousness appears as a video. Consciousness appears as you. Consciousness appears as me. Consciousness appears as your kids or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your dog or your house or your bank account. Consciousness appears as anything. That's what it means to be infinite. It's not limited to any particular way of being. Now, I know this sounds outrageous. And see, the problem is that you have no idea what I'm talking about because you don't have the reference experience. So unless you have a reference experience, then you're just going to have ideas at best. So this is an extremely complex subject because I'm really breaking down what is reality at its core. So your consciousness, which is one with everything, <laughs> it's kind of a lot to swallow immediately. I'm going to have more videos in the future. You can check out my video, what is the substance of reality? But for now, I'll leave your, the explanation of what you truly are. I'll leave it at that because it's too complex. So the separate individual or ego isn't the real you. It's not what you truly are. See, the problem is that your mind does a great job at hiding the truth from you, hiding the fact that you are one with everything. You are the entire fucking universe and simultaneously none of it at the same time. So, like I said, going past the ego and discovering the truth means the death of you. Your whole identity has to change. You have to realize that any identity at all is an illusion and is just a mental fabrication. So, you can't experience true oneness with everything if you constantly believe that you are something. You have to realize that you're not your body, your mind, your feelings, your thoughts, your sensations. That's, excuse me, you need to see through the illusion of identifying with these things in order to experience oneness. So the ego unconsciously distracts itself from this truth. Because the ego's a lie. It doesn't want to realize that it doesn't exist. That's threatening it to the mind. So it distracts itself with its own non-existence. <laughs> and it does this in order to survive in the way that it currently is. Its job is to keep you alive the way you are right now because it has worked in keeping you alive. Whatever you've been doing, it's kept you alive so far. It's homeostasis. It's keeping you exactly the same, safe and sound, and nothing can harm you. Nothing can kill you. So, the ego is not bad. In fact, in a sense, it's good because you like being alive anyway, and without it, you'd be dead. So, without the ego, you couldn't physically survive. See, your mind wouldn't be able to make distinctions between what is food and what is not food, what is me and what is not me. You would have died a long time ago without the ego. Because the whole point is, like I said, to keep you alive. So, the ego isn't bad. So the issue with the ego is that 90% of humans, if not more, don't actually know that they have an ego. They don't know they have a false identity or a, a separate self that they believe is them. So this creates all sorts of conflicts and suffering. And um, it creates misinformation and delusion. It's really the source of all problems in the world. 
So if you are interested in enlightenment, and this might be a select few that's currently watching that have heard about it, maybe had an experience, or they're really trying to have their first experience, then the way to realize enlightenment or your inherent oneness with everything, the truth of reality, the way to do this is to not remove the ego, not hate the ego, not say this is bad, but just to see through the illusion of it ever existing. So the way to get enlightened is to actually realize that you are already enlightened and that there's nothing actually to do. Simultaneously, there's a lot to do in order to get to that understanding. But you need to see through the illusion of being any particular way, of any identity at all. That's how to get enlightened. So enlightenment is simply just the recognition of our true nature, the recognition of what is true, and the realization of oneness. So this is an extremely deep topic. Um, it's, in, it's insanely advanced. It's really about the nature of all of reality. What is reality at the big picture level? That's what this video is about. I can shoot many more videos about what is reality. I can, I can really destroy your mind with some of this stuff. I can really shatter your ego with a lot of this stuff. But... I'll do that in the future. I've made a bunch in the past. Check them out. Stick around. This is it for now. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. If you guys have any, any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer any questions. Um, don't be afraid to ask. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.